I'm Zach with Zach's Contraptions, and I'm here at the Sea Science Center in Manchester, New Hampshire. They've invited me to build my very next contraption to be part of their kickoff to summer event. It should be really fun. I'm very excited for this one. Plus, I get to use old Fred here. See what kind of trouble I can get up to. Stay tuned. I have all the modules laid out here on the board in front of me, but I don't have a solid plan yet. It's determining what's gonna look really good where. Having a fast module followed by a slow one, having something electrical followed by mechanical, things like that. I might have to sleep on this one. One of the super cool things about my job is that I get a little bit of unrestricted access to the places that I'm building for. I'm here while nobody else is here and I get full run of the place. The one issue I'm finding, I don't know where the light switch is, but it is wildly cool being in here all by myself. Update, I found the lights. This is what the machine looks like from the get-go. Nothing's in place yet. Where do I get my parts and materials? Most of the time, it is loaned to me by the very generous folks on which I'm working for. And of course, museums have tons of storage, all sorts of really cool things. Man, I wish I had more space. So at the end of build day one, I think I got a lot done, don't you think? I'm at the point where the engine's going to turn. I wanted to dump sand. I want to do something really cool with that gear spinning. The gate's going to extend down. I'm going to do the gravity ball. The fan releases the little spinny gear that's down there into the air cannon, which gets released via the pencils, shoots into the poster board, causing the seesaw to tip and ultimately the chain fountain gag, where there's a little dinosaur doing his very best to hold back the prize wheel before it ultimately spins. Not bad. Start of the second build day, where my goal is that I'm trying to get from the car engine all the way over to the fan. Those are gonna be really difficult transitions, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it all done in one day. Wish me luck. I need guardrails on this thing. I changed this about five times in the span of an hour, and the fact that just with the slightest touch of a finger. Two hours later. End of the second build day, whereby I did not get both of those transitions done like I thought I would. I experimented with cool step transitions that I've never done before. This year is a wind chime that's being completely suspended via a very powerful magnet. As the extending gate goes, which of course I had to put a punching glove on it, it's gonna hit that, causing that to swing, and then that's gonna release. I was also able to get oil to pour out of the engine into the container below, that's gonna cause the extending gate to go. Not bad for two days for it. Start of day three, where today's goal, I wanna connect that punching glove over to the fan, as well as get rolling on the ball run section. Hours later. I finally have a connection between from the engine all the way through the prize wheel. But where I'm finding an issue is I have to deal with this gravity well. It actually takes a good amount of weight to activate the pressure switch. Just fell on that. But as you can see, the engine did not turn on. And that's something for tomorrow. 
I've got to keep building. I've got all of these blocks in front of me that I need to make more ball run tracks. Let's see what I get up to today. I've never been able to get balloons rising in the air to trigger something, but today it actually worked. Man, I can't wait to see what I get done tomorrow. Wish me luck. We got one module left to build. However, I still have a ton of testing left to do. In just under two hours, finish the first module. I have two days left, which means I have a lot of testing to do. I want to add some decorations, but I'm done. The whole point of this build was for the kickoff to summer event at the Sea Science Center. And what better way than to quite literally kick the ball. It's going to enter into that target and go through the entire contraption with the final step, the spinning of the prize wheel. The ultimate question, how many steps are in this machine? A step is defined as a transfer of energy from one object to the next. Leave your guess in the comments. All right, this is the coolest machine. Look at this. It goes all the way around here to kick off summer. And then it ends at this wheel spinning. We have a special guest here today. We have Lily Hevish from Hevish 5. Hello, everyone. Awesome. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for helping me set off the machine. Whenever you're ready, let's kick off the summer in three, two, one. There it is. That drops. Sire goes. That causes the balloons to rise. Fred then activates. It's going to cause the stegosaurus to go. Ball drops through the tower. Balls drop into the gravity well. All right. It's going. Engine turns on, he spills the oil out. Oil constantly spills out. When enough oil spills, it's gonna cause the lever to rise, activating the accordion arm. There it goes. Punching glove, punches, wind chimes go. Ball drops, activates the fan, DNA structure goes. Come on, fan, let go. You got this, fan. Yay. It's gonna activate that. Three, two, one. Air cannon fires into the seesaw. We might have a perfect run, courtesy a lily. And in fact, you just gave us our first perfect run on film. Genuinely, not even joking. Let's see what your prize was. That was incredible. I almost didn't want to work with the fan. That scared me. Please say try again. That would be just... Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. oh my God. Dino prize. Perfect. It was clearly Lily's doing. One last chance to guess how many steps were in this Rube Goldberg machine. Well, the answer, 45 steps. 45 interactions from start to finish in order to solve the task of spinning that prize wheel. Are we ready? Yeah! We got one no and close to yes, so that's good enough for me. All right, are you ready? Yeah. All right, three, two, one, let's kick off for the last time. And the tire rolls, causing the cooler to release the balloons. Fred then activates the rotating Stegosaurus dinosaur. His tail is gonna swing that post, releasing the sponge, causing the ball to travel through the ball run. Releasing two balls into the gravity well. They're gonna circle around and eventually activate the combustion engine. Oil begins to spill out. Slowly but surely it's gonna fill that container until it lifts the lever. Really early in that time. The most popular the little off and it's still made it wing chimes go ball drops. It's the fan that causes the screw to go. From there, that's gonna activate the air cannon. Air cannon fires, drops onto the seesaw. 
Dinosaur Ghost, we might have a perfect run. Yes! Awesome, so we have a perfect run. Incredible. Awesome, congratulations to everyone in attendance. You've earned a three month membership to the Sea Science Center. Congratulations, everyone. We just had three perfect runs in a row. That's unheard of, that's incredible. And on top of that, we just gave away memberships to this museum because it landed on the spot after two try again. Unbelievable. I mean, the electricity in this room was incredible. And, you know, I love educating people, I love entertaining people, but, you know, the fact that they get something out of this, a membership to come back to this amazing location, I just, what a phenomenal project. I'm sweating like crazy, but you know what? It's incredibly worth it.